What's up, Sarge? Welcome to your reading. This is November 2022 reading. My name is Team Obama to Vixen Sarah. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe now. And yeah, let me get straight into it I'm using a random deck. Spirit guys, ancestors, and the most accurate concise messages from my Sagittarius. November 2022. Some of you guys might be planning a trip for your birthday coming up. A birthday trip. You guys are working really hard at your job, putting in extra hours, doing what you gotta do, grinding. Some of you guys are in school as well. Ooh, you're working hard. Be careful if you're having sex with some of your friends. Some of you guys might be thinking about traveling to Los Angeles too. Listen to your dreams, they're speaking to you. They're getting messages through your dreams. And if you're thinking about moving, do it. Any more messages for my Sagittarius? November 2022. Any more messages for my Sagittarius? I'm rising. November. Some of you guys are natural born witches. Like you born with natural abilities. Mm. Something has been stolen from you though. What has been stolen? Like what is this? Yep. So it could be someone from New York City. The math is not adding up. It could be about a marriage. And it's gonna break your heart. Somebody's teaming up with others to expose something. Somebody's trying to expose something. I don't know what the fuck this is. Let me pull some cards. Charger fell. Alright, whatever. Let's go in with the good tarot. So we're gonna be inside. What's this message is about Sagittarius and Moon Rising? Fucking friends. What's this message? Somebody that's uh this could be you, King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, strong masculine energy, very dominant. This person is planting seeds, could be focusing on their work. What is this fucking friends? Or it could be fucking an earth sign. Yeah, this person or you could be fucking an earth sign. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Someone that you could have ended something with in the past. In this world. What's this teaming up natural born witch? Moving do it. What's teaming up natural born witch? Moving do it. This is someone that you had a relationship with. Yeah, they're trying to manifest the ending here. Yeah, they're trying to manifest your relationship to end three of swords. That's why they're teaming up. They might say that they're married to this person, but the math is not adding up. So make sure you get the car facts before you even, you know what I'm saying? Make a decision. New York City, Los Angeles, big cities is relevant. You can have a dream about this too. Someone wants you to feel heartbroken and clarifying that's the three of swords. So they're going to try anything they can do to break out your relationship. That's the recent past energy from my Sagittarius and Moonrising. You guys took a leap of faith on something and it made you really happy. You overthunk it, but overall now you realize that this is something that you was meant to do. For some, this could be music. For some, this could be gardening or having your own business. Zero, 19, 10, and 8. But you're taking a leap of faith towards something and it makes you really happy. And then at first you were scared to do it, but once you did it, you was like, yes, I knew I knew how to do this. Right? That's the present energy. For my Sagittarius and I'm rising. It's the present energy. You are a star. And I feel like you're realizing that slowly, like, oh, I'm talented. Present energy, Sagittarius and I'm rising. Why is my thing glitching like that? That's weird. Present energy. Some type of court case is involved with you. Present energy. All right. Um, I definitely see that you guys are realizing that you're meant to do something. You're going to start taking action. Number 17, significant. You're realizing that you're a star. Aquarius could have something to do with this as well. But you're choosing to go down a path that you don't know what to do. You see how that light is and you're just following, going slowly. It's like you're slowly putting your eggs into something. With the four of pentacles, you've been holding this back from the world. You may have not been speaking about it, what you're trying to do. Some of you guys are focused on a court case with a Libra. Number 11, the justice system. But you're not listening to your intuition when it comes to this court case. 
Spirit wants you to heal yourself. Right now you got your guard up and you letting go of people, places, and things that don't serve you. Could have something to do with the female Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This bitch is talking about you. This whoever this Cancer for Scorpio Pisces was gossiping. What's this page of swords? What was they gossiping about? Yeah, five of swords about your business, about your man, if you have one, your relationship, the court case. Yeah, definitely page of cups. Could even be about a kid if you have one. But don't trust, don't tell your business. Just move in silence, you're right. You're trying to expose something. Could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces female trying to expose something. What's this Queen of Swords with the Five of Swords page of cups? What are they trying to expose? They trying to expose something that has to do with money or a relationship, possibly both. Yeah, something that you could have walked away from. Well, they want you to walk away from this. That's the purpose. You got the eight of cups over here, and that shit flipped out. Hold on, let me get that. Yeah, that shit flipped out. I'll be close as hell. What's the future energy for my Gemini Sun and Rising? Future energy for my Gemini Sun and Rising. Future energies. Some of y'all might be getting married in the future. Yeah, East of Swords, you're definitely getting married. And be careful, if you got Facebook, someone's gonna hit you up on Facebook Messenger. So make sure you got your notification bell on. Somebody's also watching. It could be uh, Aries, a masculine, or ex. I definitely see in the future you're gonna be victorious once you do whatever you're supposed to be doing. This could be this new craft. You guys are talented. It could be your music, Eight of Pentacles. You need to work hard, focus on your craft. You guys are in your head, like, oh, I don't know if I should do it. Do it. Jump off the cliff. You guys might be getting a lot of money in the future because of this. Toys Virgo Capricorn energy. You guys might be marrying the Toys Virgo Capricorn and clarifying that as the Ace of Swords. But I definitely see you might get a bullshit message in your Facebook Messenger or a DM. Don't give this person any energy. Hang man position. This could be an ex, an Aries, a masculine man who wants your attention, who's just me talking stupid shit. Don't give it to them. Could be a Toys Virgo Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. But yeah, this person's watching you. You could have known this person like growing up. And something happened, number 16, a tower card. This definitely give an X vibes because you're number six love and then Ace of Cups reverse. This is an old lover trying to hit you up. Meanwhile, you cut this bitch off, Queen of Swords. They're mad because they've been watching you. You might be popping on social media. Oh well. That's your yo fault. No one told you to give up the bag. No one told you to fumble the bag. What message you have for my Sagittarius Sun and Rising Spirit? What message you have for my Sagittarius Sun and Rising? You guys need to move with happiness, enjoy the highs and lows of life. You can't control every single thing you go through. You're not God, only one God. Yep. You guys are getting a lot of spiritual downloads, a lot of insight. You guys are also getting a lot of stuff being told to you in your dreams. That's why it's important you have a paper in your bed next to you when you wake up in your dreams. I feel like you guys are accepting your cycles of life. You're accepting and you're learning why you had to go through everything you've been through. And it's making you transform into a different person. It's be open to change. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. And I feel you're realizing that patience is key. Through the darkness comes the light. You are your own person. You're a free spirit and other people commend you for that. But Spirit also wants you to learn how to calm down. Because some of you guys, get when you get really upset, you just turn up. And y'all don't know how to come back down. It takes y'all a minute. Yeah, fate is happening. Set your intentions as well. That's another thing you should be doing during this. this is, right now, this is Halloween. This is the thinnest the veil is between the regular world and the spirit world. So you might want to, you know, get that done. Yeah, literally, literally says begin now. <laughs> So you might want to start now, whatever you've been holding off on. Let me hear some career cards because I want to know what's this new thing y'all starting. I have some career cards from my Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising, November 2022. I have some career cards. Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. 
November 2022. Sagittarius, Sun rising. November 2022, career messages. Someone might be working at an oil or a gas station, gas stop. Someone wants to be a doctor. Ooh, somebody's studying. Uh, works as a cashier, like I said, or at a movie. Some of you guys used to be dancers. Some of you guys also could be welders, handymans. Some of you guys are also artists, like I said. Anything else? Politicians want to get into politics or talking about it. Some of you guys were pole dancers, and then you also got healers here for some of y'all. All right, um, yeah. All right, so this is your reading. It resonates with you. Comment below. Love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The bell so you know if I post, which is daily. My Instagram is also in the description box below if you want to find out more information about me. And yeah, subscribe to the channel so you know if I when I post. You guys have another reading come to you very soon, so you might want to subscribe and hit that bell. It's deeply appreciated, and I hope you guys enjoy November. Peace.